Hey. Welcome back to To The Beat. My name is Sava. This is my brother, Dacha. Uh, this is your first time joining us. Welcome. If this is not your first time joining us, welcome back. Uh, let's start it off with yesterday's riddle. Start it off with yesterday's riddle. Yesterday's so, riddle. Yesterday's riddle was... Well, not uh, yesterday. The well, previous show's yeah, riddle the, was... Uh, a cat and a half eat a mouse and a half in an hour and a half. How long does it take one cat to eat... One mouse. That's okay, so this is a bit of a math problem. The correct answer is it takes one cat an hour and a half to eat one mouse. So I'm going to draw this out a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. Bring out the old one. Oh, real quick. It Today is a very special day because today is Visor Thursday. It, it is Visor Thursday, which is why I'm wearing my trusty visor. Dacha doesn't have a visor, which makes him lame. I missed the memo. Especially on Visor <laughs> Thursday. Only, only half of us are celebrating Visor Thursday. Well, it's just, it's just so special. Visor Thursday. Uh, well, Dacha writes this out. Um, okay, so in one point, this is all, what I'm about to write out is what happens in one and a half hours. In one and a half hours, you he have can write too. one and a half cats <laughs> per one and a half mice. That makes sense. Right? Yeah, bring it up Let close. me bring it up closer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in 1.5 hours, you have one and a half cats that eat one and a half mice. Which, a little bit of a math You know, problem. if you do a little bit of math, or you can, you can first of all just see that these numbers are the same. Or you can do a little bit of math. And you can say that this ratio of cats to mice is the same as if you said one cat to one mouse. And remember, this is all of this still happens in one and a half hours. So the correct answer is one cat eats one mouse in one and a half hours. So congratulations the to all the people the who truth. got uh, the correct answer. That's Miles, Morgan, and Victor. You all guessed one and a half hours. That's super awesome. That's a correct answer, yeah. at least traditionally, that we were looking for. Uh -huh. uh, we got a couple other answers. Some people said one hour. That probably comes from, you know, dividing all of this. Um, you know, 1.5 divided by 1.5 does equal one. That's true. But that's not the number we're looking for. That's right. You want to you want to maintain this time, uh, you know, time frame of one and a half hours in which you do this this sort of, you uh -huh. know, these conversions. So, a yeah. little bit of math. Um uh, so we got uh, also a witty answer. A witty answer from Morgan, which, as far as I'm concerned, is a correct witty answer. So congratulations, Morgan! You won the prize. The witty answer um, that uh, Morgan gave us was as much yeah. time as it needs. Yeah, that's. I mean, good. yeah. If if it needs an hour and a half. Give it an hour and a half. Give it an hour and a half. I don't know like, what's let's do it. Here. So, we have some technical yeah, we have technical difficulties. That's oh. okay. Sava's in charge of this. Um, Hold on. So I'm just gonna keep going with the show. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Morgan, your congratulatory prize poster is on its way. Um, if you'd also like to send us a song request, a song you'd like us to play in a future episode, drop it in the comments. There we we'll go. We'll get right to it. Um, it's gonna be awesome. So once again, congrat congratulations, congratulations, Morgan. The cat will take as much as long as the cat needs. As long as the cat as needs. As that cat makes needs. sense. You know? Yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. For sure. So, congrats, Morgan. Yeah. Cool. Our next segment is going to be a little bit of music terminology. Ooh. Uh, so, Dasha. Yeah, welcome. What is around? Welcome to Professor Dasha's uh, laboratory. Laboratory. Uh, today, uh, in addition to being um, for half of us, uh, Visor Thursday, Thursday is also Round Thursday. Round Thursday. So we're going to play a bunch of rounds today. So what's a round? What is a you round? You might ask. Awesome question. Let me tell you. So a round is, uh, you know, sometimes question. the musical term is a canon. A canon. Um, all means the same thing, which is a piece that diff two different voices or instruments play um, the same notes but starting at different times. So, so one it's a is bit one set almost. Yeah, it's exactly. It's offset and they overlap, uh -huh. you know, once once you got both of them playing together. So if this were two voices if this here's, here's if one, this were okay. two voices playing the same thing, 
this is a round. So somebody starts first, and then there's this overlap. Mm. Um, same notes, but different times. Oh, so yeah. let's play an example. Real quick, we'll do a warm-up. Everyone probably knows the knows tune. this. Maybe not. Um, this is Row, Row, Row Your Boat, um, played in round. So uh, the lyrics are Row, Row, Row Your Boat, gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Um, so I'm going to play it once since I'll I was going to sing it. And then, and then after we get through it once, we're going to turn it into a round. Yeah. So pay attention. Here we mm -hmm. go. Can I have a C? Uh, okay. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Yeah. With your with your visor. Awesome. So if you caught on, that was a round. If you'll notice, Sava and I were both playing the exact same notes, but we started at different times. That would um, be. So that's a round. Yeah. Cool. Um, we're going to play another round because, of course, it's round Thursday. It's round Thursday. Um, this, this one it was is submitted. Yeah. So we remember that one of our winners from l last episode. Last episode. Kay. Uh, congratulations again, Kay. Uh, as a prize, she got to submit a piece that we're going to play. Song Rick. And Kay's first choice was The Devil Went Down to Georgia, but we re we played that. Yeah, double prize. Yeah, double prize. Double prize. Uh, and so she said that her next choice was a piece called This Pretty Planet, which, lucky for us, is also... Is around. Is around. Is around. Yeah. So that's awesome. So round Thursday, Yeah. this next piece is This Pretty Planet. So Sava, tell us what the lyrics are to This Pretty Planet. This Pretty Planet spinning through space... Your garden, your harbor, your holy place. Golden sun going down, gentle blue giant spin us around, round, all around, all through the night, safe till the morning light. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, um, yeah, I'm, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to play it um, while uh, Saba sings it once through, uh -huh. and then we're going to turn it into a round. So here we go. Do a round. Uh, hang on. Oh, oh, take I forgot, two, I forgot, take I two. It's uh, all right. It's all right. This pretty planet spinning through space. Your garden, your harbor, your holy place. Golden sun going down. Gentle blue giants spin us around. environmental theme oh sure um you know we love the this is a holy place 
Uh, we gotta appreciate the environment. We gotta recognize it. We gotta care for it. Um, you know, this while we're all staying home is a great time to you know check your habits a little. See if you can be a little more green. Oh yeah. Um, You know, maybe you don't need fourteen squares of toilet paper. Um, use half a paper towel or use a cloth towel that, of course, you wash. Um, uh, you know, re- use reusable grocery bags. Yeah. Um, None lots of, of things. Don't wash your hands for too long. Too long. You know, wash your hands. Sing Twinkle Twinkle, but don't, you know, waste water. Take don't sh- don't, don't take sing a whole opera. You know how the saying goes. Yeah. Yeah, that's when, right. When one is washing one's hands, one doesn't sing a whole opera. One only sings Twinkle Twinkle. Which is about 20 seconds. I've never heard that. I've heard that all the time. I grew up with that saying going around the house. Grew up in the same house. Yeah. It was- anyway, awesome. So, um, <laughs> that was not part of the script, uh, in case you're wondering. Oh, yeah. Um, so, okay. So, you know, take, take, a little, take a little survey. See if you can, of yourself, see if uh-huh. you can, you know, clean up your habits a little bit. So, the next song we're going to play also has a little connection to the environment, but... Before then, before, yeah. Before then, it's, should, should we take a quick look at? We can take, let's. What does it say here? It's, it, it says, says, at least what I had written that we agreed on. It looks on. like it's. It says joke it's time. Joke time. It's, it's joke time. time. It's joke time. It's joke time. It's joke time. Woo! Sweet. Okay. Um, so today we got a lot of submissions. That's right. So we're gonna go through first the jokes, first our jokes, and then we're gonna go to your jokes. And we also got a couple of riddles. Submissions. Keep them coming too. These are oh, awesome yeah. jokes. We lost awesome. some jokes. So. Uh, what do you get if you cross a pie and a snake? An, a, a non-tasty pie. I don't know. Have you ever tried a snake? Yes. Really? No. I don't know. A python. Oh, oh I get it. Python. Thon. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, thon. Thon. <laughs> Thank you. Plus, maybe we'll get the laugh track. The, the virtual maybe. studio audience loves it. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you do if you get peanut butter on your doorknob? If you get peanut butter on your doorknob? What do you get if you get peanut butter on your doorknob? You make a really nice sandwich. Close. You get a door jam. And make a... Oh, 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 yeah. 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 Wow, that was, that was nice. That was good. <laughs> it really adds to the atmosphere of joke time. Nice. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is Europe like a frying pan? Uh... Oh, because you got grease on the bottom. Actually, yeah. You got grease oh, on the yeah, bottom. Hey. Hold on. Where's the globe? <laughs> Where's the globe? Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Hey, go. <laughs> Everyone, stop us. Show us the globe. Show us the globe. Here's, Here's the, the globe. globe. So once again, here we are. Exeter, New Hampshire. Good old Exeter, New Hampshire. Take a trip across the Atlantic Ocean. You get to this great place called Europe. Where and at the, bottom, <laughs> at the bottom of Europe, you have Greece, which is a country. Additionally... Uh, substance found commonly at the bottom of... Speaking of food, you also got Hungary. Frying pans. In in Europe, you also got Hungary. And Turkey. Oh, oh Turkey! <laughs> oh, yeah? Cool. Even though, even though Turkey's in Asia? In, no, in, it's half and half. Half and half, yeah. Okay. Um, wow, dude, a little geography there, huh? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, no, I was partially correct, saying that part of, I mean, part of Turkey's in Asia, but... Very well. It's fine. Uh, why didn't the robot finish his breakfast? Why didn't the robot finish his breakfast? Because his microchip was full. <laughs> because the orange juice told him to concentrate. Uh, no, I like my answer better. I do too. Yeah. That's not, that's not so funny. No. Um, it's okay though. We once tried. Once again, he tried. Sava writes these jokes into the script. So, um, and, I, and I can make you look as stupid as I <laughs> as stupid as you. Okay. Um, Very well. <laughs> um, awesome. So now we have to revisit... Uh, <laughs> The laugh track is not... We're not on good terms, the laugh track. And I no. Know. So, we got to revisit a riddle from last time that yeah. actually Miles submitted. So, the Miles riddle... Miles came up with... Oh, that's right. Actually, yeah. sorry. Miles came up with this riddle. Um, and submitted it. And submitted it. Yeah. So, the riddle, once again, is... Um, you're standing there. You got three doors. You, behind one door is a vampire. Behind another door is a tarantula. And behind the third door is poisonous, poisonous gas. Yeah. And you've got three things. Garlic... A knife and hot, water. and hot water. A giant pot of hot water. So the question is, which door do you go through with your three things yeah. to be safe? And so we gave our, our answer, we guessed last episode, and we said 
that you can either use the garlic against the vampire or you can make a nice tarantula soup with the garlic and the hot water and the knife. Uh, and so, so we got confirmation. We got confirmation from Miles uh-huh. that garlic was actually the correct answer because that's not the that's not the question. You go into the door with the vampire because you have the garlic. Yeah, because I was gonna, I mean, if you let me finish, I was gonna get there, but and that was fine. It's okay. <laughs> The train wreck? Oh, yeah. The train wreck sound effect? Ooh. That, that was train... No. No, it was good. Because we like the riddles. Thank you, Miles. Yeah. Thank you, Miles. Keep them coming. These are awesome. Um, so, so, I'm going to do... Uh, we've got, uh, actually... Another riddle. We've got uh, another if, if, riddle. If you, don't, if you don't mind here, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> professor. Kyle submitted a riddle. Kyle's riddle was you have chicken feed, a chicken, and a fox... So I was gonna draw this ad for you. And 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 one basket. And your goal is to bring all three items across the river, keeping in mind that a fox eats a chicken, a chicken eats the chicken feed. And so if you leave two items alone by themselves on one side of the river, and uh, here, yeah, let me draw that out. Yeah, just please. I'm it, lost already. Okay, so so there's here. There's a river. So is the river. Uh with the with the fox, the chicken, and the chicken feed. Lots of C's. <laughs> And lots of F's. <laughs> Our resident chicken. And so let let's say let's say you bring the fox over. So now the fox is over here. Then you leave the chicken and the chicken feed alone. The chicken is gonna eat the chicken feed. You lose the riddle. No good. No good. No good. And so I believe I've come up with a solution. We think. We so think. Kyle, we're gonna spell this out for you. Let us know in the comments whether we're correct. Okay, here we go. Step one is you bring the chicken over. Right? So now the chicken is on this side of the river. Uh, and that works because the fox cannot eat the chicken feed, so we're safe here. And the chicken's all alone. Yes. Uh, so then, using the basket, you come back across the river. So now you're on this nice side. Nice reuse of the arrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And and then you bring the fox over, so now uh-huh. you're kind of in the way here. <laughs> yeah. So now the fox is on that side, right? And then and then you bring the, the chicken back over, right? So Wait, where? Yeah. So so yeah. so now the chicken's back on this side and the fox is on the other side of the river. And while you're on this side of the river, you then bring the chicken feed over. Uh C F. So that then the chicken feed is not on this side anymore. And now when you leave these two alone, they don't eat each other, which is safe. Nice. And then Well, we hope the chicken feed doesn't eat the fox. We're yes. not sure. Yeah. And so so now you're on this side of the river, so then you come on back again, grab the chicken be on your way the chicken is now on this side and you have successfully brought all three to the other side that is our submission let us know if there's another answer that's our guess that's our guess let us know if uh yeah yeah or if i may have overseen something oh 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 so something oh. going on with sound effects there captain no oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. except that wasn't a joke really uh, cool. Okay, uh, continuing with the submissions we have. That's right. So, uh, we got another joke from Miss Phyllis, uh, our friend joining us from Cape Elizabeth. Maine. Um, who says, gives us a joke. This is a very nice joke. Uh-huh. Why, so this Phyllis' submission, why are Dacha and Sava like Uber? Because they give you a lift. It's really nice. Oh, that's, that's really a good joke. Nice. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, we could also be like Lyft. Because Lyft also gives lifts. Like yeah. Uber. Or Yellow Taxi. I think that's another company, right? Probably. In, in New York, is that what it's called? Yellow, ye- yellow Cab? Taxi Taxis cab? are yellow. Yeah. True. Sometimes. Awesome. Uh, Phyllis also gives us a riddle, which is super awesome. So awesome. We're actually going to use it as our prize riddle today. Um, so once again, if you guess this answer uh, correctly in the traditional uh, you know, sense of the word... We will give you a giant shout out on the next episode, which is tomorrow at 7 Eastern. If you give us an out of the box witty answer, we'll also give you a shout out. And the best out of the box witty answer is going to get a prize on tomorrow's show. So um, the riddle is Hannah, Otto, Mom, and Dad took a drive to the ocean in their new car. What is the make of the car? So once and again, here here are the characters. You got Hannah, you got Otto, Otto you, got you got Mom, mom and you got dad, dad, and they're driving to the ocean in their car. Mm-hmm. What is the make of the car? What is the make of the car? Yeah. And here's the thing. I think so. We're looking for like car brands. Like, yeah. 
like Ferrari or you know, Lamborghini. Yeah, or Bugatti. Uh, additionally, if anyone wants to submit a Ferrari uh, for me, we would be fine with that. In fact, that's encouraged. Let us know. Yeah. Uh, we do have to say, though, that uh, going into the comments section, it'd be kind of lame if you just copy and pasted a list of car brands into That's the comments true. section. That's true. That's so, true. So I think w there needs to be a little bit of... Give us a little explanation. Yeah, a little bit, a little little bit of explanation. explanation. So, you can't, so you can't submit 50 names and hope that one of them is correct. That's true. This will also work in your favor because it could make your witty answers even more awesome. Yes. Cool. So let us know. Once again, Hannah, Otto, Mom, and Dad took a drive to the ocean in their car. What's the make of the car? Awesome. So, yeah. What was so that? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So yeah, submit the name of the car, the the brand of the car you think is the answer, and maybe um, in the comments, uh, a one independent clause is necessary. No minimum. need. Yeah, minimum. Yeah. Sure. Write an essay if you want. Sure. Let us know. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Back to the rounds. Back to the rounds. Back to the rounds. So we said we had another environmental theme. Oh yeah. Um. Uh. And. <coughs> oh. Is that sound effect for environmental themes? I, I, there might be a malfunction in our sound effect Maybe, system. Yeah, the, the Can I, you go check the sound effect? Let me look, go check. Hey, the it, it's, it's working. A check. It's trying to get a little space. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Six feet. Yeah, it's broken. Go check it. Go okay, check it. Hang on. Go check. Well, no, I'm just stay here and help explain. <laughs> no, okay. So, uh, um, this song is called Kookaburra Sits in the Old Gum Tree. So, the environmental connection is recently, in the um, last few months, there have been some really devastating wildfires uh -huh. where kookaburras live in Australia. Show us um, oh, yeah? the globe where Australia is. So, here we are in the uh, northeast of the U.S. And then all the way back over here is the country and continent of Australia. So, um, devastating wildfires, which are fortunately now under control, but they have left, um, uh, you know, a lot of damage um, to a lot of people and also uh, to the habitats of a lot of the animals that uh -huh. live there. Uh, you know, you think about a lot of your classic Australian animals that we've talked about. you got your koalas, your kangaroos, you know, your, kangaroos your kookaburras, your, your emus, your echidnas, echidnas your, your platypi. Pl platypi, platypuses. Uh, platypuses. Plat platopodes. Platopodes. That's no, not it. No, that's correct. The, the critic is laughing at me. No, Platopides <laughs> is for sure. That's not right. Um, and a lot of these habitats were destroyed in the fire, which is really unfortunate. There are a lot of great efforts to try to uh, mend the situation uh, and save these animals, but... Um, one of which is the kookaburra. One of which is the kookaburra. So and a kookaburra really is a bird. I'm going to bring up a Compared to the birds that at least we're used to seeing here in New Hampshire... Here is a kookaburra. Um, they've got a really, really big head and a really, really big bill. Yeah. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than a crow. And even a bigger head than Dacha has. Believe it or not. Maybe. Um, and Proportionally. This song makes reference to its, its uh, vocalization. It yeah. Um, I also have an audio clip which of is, is So the lyrics to the song are, Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Mary, Mary, king of the bush is he. I'm little side note. Base, I'm not. In Australia, the bush right. is... Uh, the word for the woods, what we um, would hear call the woods, the in forest maybe. is called the bush. So, Mary, Mary, king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra, gay, your life must be. So, why is the kookaburra laughing in the song? Well, let, let's take a listen to a kookaburra laugh, and this is uh, courtesy of... All right, that's enough. That, that's that's enough. enough. It goes on for another three and a half seconds. Courtesy of that's Uncle plenty. YouTube. Yeah. Um, so that's the kookaburra's call. Sounds like it's laughing. So oh. here's the song. Once again, I'm going to play it. Sob's going to sing it. And then we're, we're going to play it together in a round. We'll play it in a round. In a round. Oh, shit. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Right. It happens. It, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes. He laughs. Kookaburra laughs. Kookaburra gay. Your life must be.
Oh, sure. Cool. A little kookaburra. A little kookaburra action. That's not... Is that a... Go, you gotta go check that sound effect. I don't know. Oh, the, the IT guy. There we go. That is a good one. That is a good one. Confirmation. Um, but that is coming from our sound effect box. Yeah. Really, not much good. Good little, uh, little fact. Yeah. Um, cool. So it's time for the safest part of the show, and then we're gonna come back to another couple pieces. That's right. So before actually the safest part of our show, oh. we want to give a quick thank you to everyone who's helping us support the Boston Youth yeah. Symphony Orchestras. Um, we've raised over a thousand dollars, which is incredible. Um, thank you. Thank you to everyone who's donated. Thank you to everyone for your support. The Boston Youth Symphony Orchestra is a great organization, um, and your donations are helping kids um, receive top-notch, get top-notch musical, musical instruction, mm -hmm. instruments, lessons, music camps, exposure to repertoire, awesome venues to play around Boston, and lifelong connections. It's, it's huge. So yeah. thank you, everybody, um, who's helped us out. So thank now the safest part. Now of the, the safest part of the show. So we've given you the talk about washing your hands for 20 seconds, which That's is approximately right. one round of Twinkle Twinkle at the speed we play. Uh, but today we're going to give it, you know, we've had this environmental theme. We, we talked about the kookaburra, we talked about uh, row your row your boat gently down the stream, stream is in nature. <laughs> we've talked about this pretty planet, you know, the planet, pretty self-explanatory. So this safety PSA is going to be more focused on what you can do to preserve the planet while you know, you're staying home. Yeah. While you're staying home. So, that can be as simple as not taking a really long shower. You know, preserve... Well, we talked a little bit about this, but yeah. it, it always helps to get a, a reminder. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. No, it's, oh, yeah. Safety, oh, yeah. It's, it's the official safety PSA. That's so, right. It's got to be official. Yeah. Make it official. So, try to conserve energy. So, that can be turning off the lights. Oh, uh, cool. Don't waste water. Uh, especially because it takes energy to heat the water. So, if you're taking like a 30-minute shower, that could be... It's a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy that would that otherwise be been saved. saved. Um... Don't leave the fridge open. Stuff like that. Try to conserve uh, toilet paper. Oh, yeah. Um, recycle also. Recycling. In, in any form you can find. Uh, obviously, don't recycle things that can't be recycled. That's true. Re trying to recycle things that can't be recycled actually does damage because if you contaminate your recycling with things that can't be recycled, the manufacturer, uh, the, the, the factories, you know, the, the, the... Recycling plants. Recycling plants. That's uh -huh. the word. The recycling plants... Um, if they receive stuff to recycle, but it's filled with stuff that can't be recycled, they'll ship the whole thing back, and it gets put in a landfill. Um, and then you recycle zero. Yeah. So, um, do your research. Figure out what can be recycled or not. It's different in different towns. Um, mm -hmm. So, look on your town website. What can be recycled? What can't be recycled? Um, follow those guidelines. Yeah. Sweet. So, um, now we'll keep us all safe. Yeah. Yeah. That it will. For a long time. So now okay. our next round That's right. is another song that I'm sure we have all heard. Um, it is... Well, maybe. Well, uh, it's, it's a, a common song. song. Yeah, it's, it's a, a common, common song. song. Uh, it's a, it's a officially a French song with the name Frère Jacques, Jack. or Brother John. Um, or Jack. Or Jack. Or John. John. Um, and or so, Jack. so, yeah, so my, uh, Dodge is going to play it first, and I'm going to sing it in English, and then in French, and then I'm going to join him in a round. Big French guy. Big French guy. Are, are you? I mean, take your time. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding ding dong. Ding ding dong. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez vous, dormez vous. Soleil les matinées, soleil les matinées. Ding ding dong. piece today so right so yesterday at sunset marked the beginning of the jewish celebration of passover mm -hmm. which um celebrates uh you know moses uh, symbolically moses leading the israelites out of slavery out of egypt um, away from the pharaoh away from the pharaoh uh sort of liberating them so this oh. is a uh a, a happy piece. song yeah um it's called Oh, no, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. well, I thought, uh, it's called Deanu, uh, which means it would have been enough, meaning it would have been enough if God had given us 
um, you know, one thing. It would have been enough if God had given us this one thing, but no, he gave us all of it. Um, so it's a, ce- it's a religious song, celebration of the generosity of God. And giving thanks. Um, for, once again, for the celebration of Passover. So oh. here we go. Um, this one is not around, but it's an awesome song anyway. Mm-hmm. So, um, happy Passover. Oh, yeah. Uh, if, if that's, uh, if if that's, that's something you, you celebrate. Here we go. <laughs> Passover. Happy Passover, everybody. Um, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I just have one question. Uh huh. And I know I've asked this before. Oh yeah. But I forget. When I'm washing my hands, let me uh, before you even ask that. Let me answer it. T- Twenty seconds. For twinkle, twinkle. That's that was That's the yeah. my question. Here right, we go. So it's time twinkle, 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 a classic. Thank you for joining yeah. us here on To The Beat. A uh, happy Easter for those of you who celebrate it. That's this this Sunday. That's right. Uh, happy Passover for those of you who celebrate it. Uh, and anything else? Happy spring. Yeah, happy spring. We're all here. Well, yes. actually, Southern Hemisphere, happy fall. Uh, happy fall. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow night at 7 Eastern for To The Beat. Thank you for joining us. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. We won't be here at 7 in the morning. Yeah. I mean, we will. Just we might. Yeah. But yeah. 7 p.m. Thank you for joining Eastern us time. tomorrow. To the beat. Catch you then. So.